Hey there and welcome to another video with me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up WooCommerce and install PayPal on your WooCommerce WordPress, on your e-commerce WordPress store. So stay tuned and then I'll walk you through the details. Uh, you come to payments. So at the moment, I'm using two types of payments. So there's cash on delivery. So customers will pay me cash when I deliver the item on delivery. And there's Stripe. So people can, can, can pay on my store with Stripe. So let's just visit my store right now. And then I, you, you know, you will see what I mean. Okay, now on the checkout, as you can see, there's two types of payments. So there's cash delivery, cash on delivery. And there's credit card Stripe. So if I click here on credit card Stripe, you, you know, you can enter your bank details. It, you know, it basically means visa, right? So you can enter your visa or your credit card. And uh, yeah, I'm filling the details. If you want us to save your details on our website, you can click here on save on save, save, save the details for future purchase, right? If you click on that, and then here you enter your, you know, your credentials and then you place the order. And this site is just an example. So, so once you've uh, checked that, so let me just go back again. So at the moment, the two payment system which are available on our store is cash on delivery and Stripe, right? And to add PayPal plugin, I need to come here to plugins at the bottom, click on that. And then I click here on add new. So here I'm going to add a plugin called PayPal. So you see the, the one here that says uh, WooCommerce PayPal payment, right? So it has two stars. I don't know why it has two stars, but this is a great plugin. This is like the number one PayPal plugin for WooCommerce. So, but it, it is a great plugin. Um, you know, I use it for myself. I use it for my clients as well. So here on WooCommerce PayPal, I need to click here on install now. And then I need to click here on activate. So our PayPal WooCommerce has now been activated. So I have WooCommerce PayPal here. So let me go back to uh, WooCommerce settings again. And then I go to payments. So if I saw down here at the bottom, you will see now we have PayPal. So before we didn't have PayPal, right? So we have like Stripe, direct bank transfer. If you also do direct bank transfer, you can um, enable this feature, right? And set up this in a way that people can uh, pay you through a direct bank, through a direct bank transfer, right? This is up to you. But I mean, or I mean, if you are in some countries where the payment system are not really advanced, so I will recommend you to use cash on delivery, direct bank transfer. I think PayPal also works in some countries, but I, I believe Stripe only works in, in like in Europe, uh, North America. And here on PayPal, I need to enable PayPal. So click on that. Okay, so here it says PayPal, the all-in-one checkout solution for WooCommerce, right? Um, yeah, enable PayPal payments include all this uh, system, PayPal, Venmo, Pay, Pay Later, Visa, and so on, right? So, uh, so what I need to do, I need to have a PayPal account. That's the prerequisite. Obviously, the prerequisite is a PayPal account. If you don't have a PayPal account, it's very easy to create one. You can just go to your, um, I mean, you must have a PayPal, a business PayPal account. So type business PayPal, right? So you need to sign up and create an account, right? So sign up and create an account uh, and then go ahead and proceed, you know, with the installation process and all those details. So that's basically, but I will assume you've already got a PayPal business account. And if you do have a PayPal personal account, you can also uh, change that PayPal personal account to a PayPal business account. That's possible. So now let me just log into my PayPal account quickly. So this is my PayPal account and that's basically how, you know, like, you know how it looks, right? There's two ways to add payments or integrate PayPal with your store, right? So what you need to do, you need to click here on toggle to manual 
credential input, right? This is where you put like your email address. But so to connect your PayPal, just click on activate PayPal and security prompt. So just click here, I'm not a robot. And then it will just um, ask you to verify a few details. So that's my email address. I mean, that's my paper email. The, the country is the United Kingdom. So just click on next. And it will ask you to log into your account again. I mean, and click here on agree and connect. And once you've done that, just click on close. That's it, right? Go to WooCommerce. Okay, awesome. I have now connected my PayPal account. As you can see here, it says uh, connected. There's a tick here. Everything has been done automatically on the system. That's my um, PayPal email. That's my merchant ID and other details, right? So advanced credit card and debit card payments status not yet enabled. So for now, I'll just leave this the way it is right now and just make sure you just save changes. And let's go back to our uh, checkout page and see. So at the moment, we do have two payment systems. So we have cash on delivery, we have a credit card or Stripe, but we're going to reload the page and see if PayPal appears. But I mean, it's going to appear anyway because we've set it up. And come here to standard. So standard payment, right? And title PayPal, uh, brand is shop with Ulrich. Let's just click on enable PayPal features for your store, right? That's what you need to do. So um, that's basically some of the features here. And if you want to enable anything else here, you can go ahead and enable any other things, but I'll just uh, click on enable PayPal features for your store. That's what you need to do. And once you do that, you need to click on save changes. And here for pay later, Right, it's, I mean, it's a sort of a feature that, you know, you can buy now and pay later, that's something. So if you want to disable pay later on your store, you can just uh, disable, right? And then you only have PayPal, so you, you won't have the option to for anyone to pay later on your store. And here, so once you disable pay later and you need to click on save changes, and let's reload the page and see what, and see how it looks. So now you can see we have um, cash on delivery, credit card or swipe, right? And then we have PayPal. Okay, but why do we still have pay later? This is weird. I did disable pay later. Let's just reload again and see. PayPal, pay later. Okay, we're going to disable the pay later feature, right? So at the moment, as you can see, we do have, we still have the pay later feature. We are going to disable this. Right? One of the reasons why I still have pay later on my checkout, as you can see, I still have pay later here, but I don't want to use pay later. It's because I haven't disabled the, I did disable pay later button, right? But it still, it didn't disable. I don't know why, but let me just disable again i think one of the reasons is because i have the pay later messaging enabled so let's just disable that as well and then i click here on save changes okay i have saved changes let me now go back to our store and just reload and see what we have okay let's scroll down here and click on paypal now our pay later has been disabled right uh you, you have free payment system. You have cash on delivery, which is great in some countries. If you live in Europe, you know, people don't really do cash cash on delivery, but in other parts of the world, that's something that's very doable. A lot of people still do it. There's credit card through Stripe. Uh, yes, 
people do use Stripe. In Europe, I think in other parts of the world, people don't use Stripe. Stripe is not available. This is the payment system. It's to check out. I've heard it's great. You know, a lot of people use it in different countries. I think even in Europe, in Europe, people do use to check out. Um, but, you know, try it. I've never tried it. You can try it and see how, how it works. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, this was how to set up your PayPal payment on, on your uh, e-commerce WordPress site. As you can see, it was it was easy, it was straightforward. It wasn't really complicated. Uh, if you do have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. I'll be more than ready to help. Um, don't forget to share this content with your mates, your friends or families or anyone. Okay, great.